Well, hello there, and welcome back to Dark Souls, the New Game Plus run. Um, in the last video, we made our way through Sin's Fortress and to New, um, well, not to New Londo, but to Anor Londo. I have a ton of souls here. I've decided to spend them to level up. That way, I don't lose them when I die in the upcoming adventures, because I am almost guaranteed to. I'm going to take my vitality to 25, like I said, and I think I'm going to put points into strength as well. That will continue to open up more items for me to use, more weapons for me to um, explore and to check out, and eventually I might even get to use my Gravelord Sword. Um, before we go down to New Londo, though, not New Londo, a Nor Londo, I'm going to kill these guards and get their chests. I also want to check out this Gravelord Greatsword dance. Let's see. How does this work? Okay, so it's a lot like Firestorm. That also means it's pretty much going to be useless. Yeah. Going to be useless against these guys. Okay, time out, guys. You've proven that you are superior to me. I'm certainly not going to try and take on two of you. So if you would just please back up. I would be happy. Crap. I didn't expect him to follow me out here that far. Come here. I don't want to deal with both of them. Because I can't I can't really handle axe sweeps like that from two. Come on. Yeah. That is pretty much certain death. From two of them. Let's see. God dang it. I might just turn around and leave. I, I'm not going to take on both of them. Oh, come on. I was totally underneath your arc of attack. Well, what about that now? I don't know where you think you're going. 4,500 souls? That's pretty respectable. I can actually stagger him? That's kind of interesting. To be honest, I wouldn't have ever figured that with this sword. Okay. Those guys are fairly easy in one-on-one -on -one combat. But not when you're trying to deal with two of them. At least for me. Are you a Mimic? No. There is a way to tell what the Mimics are, Demon Titanite. Somebody said something about their chain. How did you die? You ran up there and you got killed in one hit. I'm gonna guess that she had already been fighting these things for a bit. And was low on health from that. I don't know how these things could kill you in one hit unless you're on, I don't know, like your fourth or fifth new game. Because again, every time you beat it, the enemies get harder, and do more damage, have more health, I think. So, let us see if I can just pull one of you at a time. I know that one of those chests is a mimic. Come here, you. Yeah. You can thrust at me all you want. I'm still going to destroy you. Or not. Nope. They have a really high tendency to either jump back towards their friend or to jump into a wall where I can't hurt them. And I have a really high tendency to thrust my sword right between their legs. And not even where at a vital spot. Just into open air. There we go. You guys drop something sometimes. I think, I, I want to say that they drop Titanite chunks, perhaps? Yeah, knock me way back, asshole. It's not gonna save you! 
Neither is your epic mobility for being so huge. There we go. Quit jumping around, you're not a frog. Okay. Are you a mimic? No. It's the other one. Twinkling Titanite. Not bad. Let me put replenishment on. Yeah, the mimics have a straight chain. Um, I pretty much ignored that advice in my last playthrough, and I only looked for the breathing, but... The chain on the side for them is much straighter. Oh, come on! I thought for sure I was far enough away. Run for it! Oh, I didn't have my shield out. That is why I don't two-hand my sword ever. I'm generally... I'm just not used to it. Well, damn you, Mimic. I don't think my replenishment did anything either. What a worthless spell. In fact, I'm getting rid of replenishment. I've tried it out a few times. I've never seen it make a lick of difference. Great heal. No. If I was a Mimic, what would I hate? I imagine I would hate... Firestorm. I'm going to kill that Mimic this time. The only unfortunate news is I have to kill those guards as well. Oh, boy. And Firestorm will not be able to help me with that. Let's see. I can't Gravelord here. A, because I'm not human. And B, because I am not in a multiplayer area. You can't invade or do anything like that up here. You also don't get any peers up here, apparently. Because I've been setting before I recorded for like 20 minutes trying to get peers. And there's not a single person connected. Why are you jumping away? I didn't even a attack you yet. <sighs> you are a coward. That should have hit him. Curse your shield. Yep. Run back to the safety of your brother who will not save you, I assure you. Okay. Are you going to drop anything this time? No. No one can save you either. Now, if I was smooth, I could do that more often. The rolling between the legs. I think that's another reason they jump back. That is their weakness. Okay. Now... To try out... Oh, that's right. I don't have my pirate. Okay, let's try this one then. Not... Good damage. To say the least. No, I, I thought I had my shield out. Crap. Get your shield out, you dumb idiot. Before you get killed again. Good lord. Ma making things more difficult than they have to be since forever. A crystal halberd. Okay. Go back to the bonfire. Turn human. Heal up. I think I'm going to get rid of this Grave Lord Greatsword dance, maybe. I don't know. I just don't see where it could be that useful. It has a very small radius. Um, I don't even know what type of damage it does. Probably physical damage. Oh, man. Have I already mentioned that I hate mimics? I guess I'll keep it for now. And I do have my Pyromancy Flame equipped. I don't know what I was thinking. Apparently I was just not thinking. And yeah, the lift is working because I actually stepped on it earlier, right before starting recording. Geronimo. So, pretty good chance that we will be invaded while we're here. I kind of hope we do need humanity. There you go. Hopefully you can use it, or put it to good use. Oh yeah, these guys. I almost forgot about the gargoyles. You quick little bastard. I have no idea if you could make them fall off an edge. 
They're extremely flamboyant, but generally not too difficult. Okay. Yep, got another axe from you. They can even be staggered, it looks like. Gargoyle's halberd. Tons of stuff. Good luck. Indeed. You will need it in this hellhole. Let's see, messages there. And... If my memory serves me, yes. What is it, Demon Titanite? Times one. I think... Um, I think I'm going to be using that soon. Once I maybe get to the blacksmith around here. Chest ahead. And again, I'll kind of I'll beef up that um, Grave Lord sword because I do plan to use it. So, actually, also if my memory serves me correctly, I cannot go that way just yet. What's this say? Good luck. Forgot my memory sucks. We'll go this way completely bypass the painted world this time instead of diving right into it. Um, I'm trying to think. Which is awfully difficult sometimes. I, I'm pretty sure I've mentioned that this time I go into the painted world, I'm going to try and destroy the boss there instead of letting her live. Whenever I said I was going to save people in this playthrough, I didn't mean bosses. I mean NPCs like Patches and Laurentius. Gonna drop me any throwing knives? No. Neat, they actually stick into the wall. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Okay. Now on these guys, I am going to use my bow. And yeah, I still need to resort all of my items, damn it. Okay. I'm gonna pick you guys off from here. Before you can even get close enough. No, don't alert them yet. Oh, dang it, that one's already showing up. I don't want to fight them on the ledge up here. Those actually do a lot of damage. Really? <laughs> I got a chest, a knife sticking out of my chest. Boy, I don't know if I've got the range for this. Really? I hit him? Oh, I got both of their attention? Yeah, the problem is they're so far away that I can't actually do any damage. Oh, and my arrows cannot... Knock that down, dang it. Okay. Oh, I'm totally going to fall this time. I can just sense it my inevitable death. Unless... Unless I get up here. That chandelier has a pretty large area to stand on. Geronimo! It's quite shocking that that does not make any sound at all. Okay... Now, also, I don't think I can poison these guys. I bet you they'd be more susceptible to fire arrows or something. No, I guess I can poison them. And where is that other one going? Hi! They do bounce a little bit. I can't help it, I love ragdoll physics. In games. Some of you take that stuff for granted. Let me tell you, there was a there was an, a time whenever enemies were static when they died. Can I hit you from here? It was almost a headshot. Come on. Oh, what is this? Red light, green light? <laughs> I think so. Ow. Almost had that shield on. Okay. Doesn't matter what my health is. Because if I fall from here, I'm dead anyways. Now. 
before going any further, I'm going to go try to get that chest. Catch me on your bosom, or not. It was worth a try. And I think there's one more up here. Again, if my memory serves me correctly, right there. A little bit of a tight fighting area, but whatever. Painting guardians don't stand a chance against the plump one. And you are more divine blessing. Those fully heal you and remove any status effects that are punishing you, I believe. Which again means it's such a rare and useful item that I will almost never use it. I'll save that for future um, playthroughs, most likely, whenever you guys aren't around. Whenever I'm on, like, New Game 8 or 9 or something, however many times I eventually decide to beat this. Traverse the white light. Maybe you also can't be invaded in this place until you activate the central area, because I still have no peers connected to me. That's just really weird. One more gargoyle to defeat. And then we get to hang out with my my favorite friends in the entire game. No, not the Abyss Demon. Even though he does rank up there. Also... Okay, I, didn't want, I did not want that to happen. That tire looks like I almost fell to my death. Come here, gargoyle, jump down here. That way I can do a plunging attack on you. Ow. That actually staggered me for a while. And he almost allowed me to cut his tail off. What a nice guy. We get a shield, his helm, a decent amount of souls. I don't know what I'm going to do about this. I'm almost tempted to go back and spend these souls right now. Because I'm going to lose them up here. Need might. Well, good luck. Oh, man. I honestly don't know what to do here. I could try poisoning these guys. Are you guys really not going to come after me? Okay, I'm going to kill this one, because I still have to deal with those um, demons around the corner. And... you'll be dead. Also, you know, I might as well use an Eye of Death here. Even though I don't have any peers, maybe this will force the system to start trying to hook me up. Oh no, you don't. Stay over there. Don't even pay me any mind. You're too late. Also, I don't know if I ever found what was through these doors. If there's anything. There's no trigger that says, that, that acts like the door can be opened. Weakness, ranged battle, huh? Let's try it. Yeah, well, it seems like he was expecting that. Okay. Got you. With any luck, maybe I'll be able to make it past these archers up here. The first time. Brain shot. A little bit slow on that one. Yeah. That paid the price, because now I'm actually going to have to fight this guy. You can't hit me from there, are you serious? Come on. I'm not coming down there to fight you. You can die from poison, I guess. Okay. And why don't I want to fight him? 
because eventually he's going to get the jump on me and end up causing damage like that. I knew it was coming. Okay, clear you out. Crap, that was close. Now, what do I want to do? They give good souls too, good luck. I guess I don't have to worry too much about losing these souls, because... What? You can actually see me? From over there? I can't even see him. I think he's shooting through an arch. Yes. His arrows are coming through the wall. What a hacker. He's got wall hacks on. Are they coming through that building, too? I don't like those guys. Um, let's see. Forget the bow. It's not going to help me here. I'm going to try to firestorm these guys, for better or worse. Let's see, what else do I have? I have death, Estus flasks. Well, that was surprisingly effective. Oh, come on. Wiry little bastards. Now for these guys. Oh, man. I have to get ready, psych myself up for this. Grief ahead. Yes, indeed. It is grief. I don't even know what to do about this. Poise might help. The Hawk Ring might also help. I can use the Dragon Slayer Bow. Let's see, get rid of the Fire Arrows. I'm going to try this. I have 11 of Goff's Arrows. I finally learned how to pronounce his name. Okay, let's see. Okay, yeah, that's right. Let me put... I do have the hawk ring on. It's a little bit too high. I'm surprised this guy has not seen me. 39. There we go. Incoming pain. Yeah, this isn't going to work. I mean, I would have to get really lucky here. And... Knock him off. I think I'm going to hit an invisible wall here. Yeah. If he's going to hit an invisible wall, so am I. Okay, you know what? I just need to charge up there. Try to kill him or something. I can't go to the right, because I've tried that before, and, oh god, I'm overweight too. I just noticed that bow has really put me over my weight limit. I'm screwed. <laughs> why me? Oh, don't you dare. No. Oh, you bastard! You were so close to being dead, I screwed myself over. Fuck that bow. Oh, god damn it. I hate these guys so much. Well, let the pain and suffering start. Fuck that bow. I thought I was slowed down. I could tell whenever I was moving. But I, it didn't even strike my mind that it was from that. I'm going to put the poise ring on. I'm going to try this run one more time. Forget being human. I'm not going to waste a bunch of humanity again doing this. Oh my god. He had like five health left. It was not much at all. If I would have had my chloranthine ring on, he would have been dead. Because I would have had more stamina. There's basically a, a thousand different things I could have done better in that situation. Instead of doing everything wrong.
We are our worst enemy. I don't need the archers to make things tough on me. I'll do it myself if given the chance. Still don't have any peers, which is exceptionally strange. I might actually restart the game after this. This is frustrating. And this is only the first death. This could be the the part in the, in this playthrough where I end up dying over and over and over again. How's my roll? It's not a roll, you idiot. That's a jump. Okay. I could probably put Havel's ring on and get my fast roll. But to be honest, poise is probably better. Or maybe even more stamina. I don't know. Okay, get ready to knife me in the back. No. Generally, they do. Run past these guys. That guy's gonna lunge stab me. Get me? No. Get me in the back with a lightning spear. I know one of you guys wants to screw me over. I'm coming for you, you son of a bitch. Get my shield out. For what that's worth. That was close. If I was a better swordsman, I would try and parry you. Crap. Okay. Use dead. Get my crap. Oh, man. And, let me guess, you did it? Praise the sun. Anybody who is happy to be through here, I will give you humanity. Screw those guys. I'm not going back to deal with that other one and get the shiny behind him either. I got that on my alt and it was just a soul. <laughs> Certainly not worth it. Solaire, my hero! Oh, there you are. You've been quiet these days. Smooth summoning, I bet. Anytime you see my brilliantly shining signature, do not hesitate to call upon me. You've left me with quite an impression. I would relish a chance to assist you. Okay, and you know that I will summon you any chance I get. Also, for those of you who don't know, I'm almost positive that his armor is based on the Monty Python. Um, I can't even think of its name right now. <laughs> but the Monty Python movie where... Uh, the Quest for the Holy Grail. I'm almost positive that that is um, King Arthur's symbol on his chest. Not to mention the, the helm. So, set here, gonna level up, put another point into strength, and I wanna talk to Solaire one more time. You really are fond of chatting with me, aren't you? <laughs> if I didn't know better, I'd think you had feelings for me. Oh no, dear me, pretend you didn't hear that. <laughs> well, Solaire, you are one of my favorite NPCs here. So, I'm not gonna reverse Halloween just yet, because I'm gonna restart, and whenever we come back, we're going to continue to explore a Norlando. Probably will not make it to um, the boss in this place just yet, and I might do a few videos of just running around as a Gravelord getting invaded in here, which will most likely not be that difficult, because there's not that many places you can hide your, your Gravelord sign at, and I'll probably stay in high traffic areas, so... PvP on the way, let's hope.